What's up guys, my name is ESO and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the ceremonial gauntlets, boots, chest and helmet of Saint Matthias, which is one of the best armor sets in the entire game, especially for magic resistance and armor rating as well. It's just ridiculously strong. And if you guys enjoy this video and you find it helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe with the bell icon for future guides like this one. But now let's get started and I'll actually show you where it is. Okay, so in order to get this unique armor set, and you can do this very early on in the game, you need to complete most of this quest line in the origins of Teleme. We start off with Trouble in Eden, theological conflicts and then in the footsteps of saint matthias and then saint and wild those are all the quests but in order to get the trouble in eden quest line you must first go here on the map to san matthias the city of teleme where you need to speak to the mother cardinal and she's going to give you that quest to visit the village of eden which gives you the quest trouble in eden and then that sends you to one location on the map and eventually you'll then be able to access theological conflicts which will give you access to this area of the map ved vilvi which is located just here on the map and that quest line will take you here eventually as long as you follow it starting off as i said from the mother cardinal here you'll eventually end up in this location just here and we are here on this map. Now, you can't actually access this area until you start this quest, which is why you need to do the quest line to get this far. So once you do get to this area, this is the local map. And this secret path just here where my cursor is, is going to open. And then you're going to go all the way through here to this campsite and go all the way north after solving the quest there. Um, and then you're going to want to come here to this secret little cave in the top right corner of the island. Just here, as you can see. And just to show you, this is the shortcut that basically opens. Um, as you can see, they've like mined all the rocks away here. But this shortcut won't exist until you start that quest line. So now we're going to run to the corner of the map. Okay, so we're now on the top right hand corner of the map and we're working our way to this cave. So you just hop up here, it's like a linear path, you, know, you can't really get lost. But you will have to feed a guardian just here, I've already killed him. Um, he's not too hard to kill, you probably have already come up against that type of guardian before. But once you've defeated him, you can then access the cave behind. Um, which is going to give us this unique armor set, so let's head on inside. I wanted to show you guys, you know, the way over and which quests you have to do, but without spoiling them. So that's why I've not given you a, you know, step-by-step -step guide. But if you really want a full walkthrough, just check out my walkthrough link down below in the description. But once you're inside, just drop down and we're going to come to the left down here. And you're going to see this sneak thing and you need Intuition 2 to get through. Which I have. You can actually use armor to get through here by the way before you guys uh, panic about not being able to do that but if you uh, craft your armor sets you can actually add two intuition oh, Jesus. okay so from the gap in the cave again once you've cleared out those enemies you will find this hidden little chest unsuspectingly it has the ceremonial armor of saint matthias and as you can see, it's it's pretty damn good to be honest with you. It, ha it does require endurance four though, but it is completely unique and it gives you very high magical resistance. So let's pick up this. Now before we upgrade this set so I can show you guys the final stats it has for the upgraded, what I'm going to do is put it on Kirk so you guys can see what it looks like. So there we go, he's got the full set on. The helmet itself has 55 armor and gives 35% balance and 5 magic resistance. It also has the torso, which gives 135 armor, 75 balance, 100 quality, and the hands, 52 armor, and then the uh, boots, 56 armor. Now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to completely upgrade this set so you guys can see what it looks like fully upgraded. 
Now in comparison to the merchant's armor which I showed you in a previous video that you can actually get at the start of the game as well guys. It has a armor value of 108 which is pretty damn high considering it only requires two endurance to equip and you can get it a lot earlier than the ceremonial cure. So if you want an armor set you can wear now at the start of the game I recommend picking that up because you can pick it up within the first few hours of playing. So let's upgrade the ceremonial curious now. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different things we can equip onto this armor set. But I and all of those things will affect the armor, the balance, and so on in different ways. So what I'm going to do is just upgrade the armor fully so you can see the maximum protection you can get out of it. Okay, so fully upgraded, the chess piece alone has a magical resistance of 19% and an armor value of 192, which is really, really, really good. And especially considering that 19% magical resistance, like with the other parts of the armor set, we're gonna be almost immune to magic. The next thing we have is the gauntlets. And as you can see, there are quite a few awesome looking visual upgrades here, but obviously I'm gonna go for the biggest armor grade here, which is engraved gauntlets and quarter. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the greaves as well. So now they have 82 armor 42 percent balance and 100 quality and nine percent magical resistance so in total now we have 28 percent magical resistance while wearing this armor set which is so strong the helmet has a armor of 55 and a balance of 35 percent and as you can see it has five percent magical resistance as well so in total now guys kurt has 32 percent magic resistance which is super super strong and as you can see the armor set just looks awesome so that is the full armor set there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe, press that bell icon because I've got plenty more Greedful guides coming out for you guys very soon. Like how to get awesome armor sets like this and also some awesome weapons to go with it as well. But thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.